staring at me. Look me in the eyes. So Rust is becoming a very big game in the PC Steam community, but what exactly is it? So Rust is like DayZ. It's a zombie survival horror game with PvP built in, except this one this one has base building, so it's Minecraft, Stalker, and um, DayZ all in one. So it's a really great mix, it's a lot of fun to play with friends, as you guys saw in the first scene there, that was me and my mate David. And there's just so many things you can do. So, to get good loot, of course, you have to go into the radiation zones, same as the game Stalker. Minecraft aspect of it is you um, have a lot of building. The first scene there at the start after, you know, friend David was, that was my house, and then the next house was one of the biggest houses I found on the server. So there's a lot of, a lot of aspects like that. Also, there's a survivalist aspect, so you have to kill animals to collect meat. At the moment, that um, all animals only produce chicken breast, and you cook that up, and that cancers your food unless you can find food in boxes like this in radiation zones these radiation zones they give you blueprints such things like that which actually help you progress your character on and find better weapons create better gear and ultimately make a lot better character a lot better base and just have a great experience for you and your friends it's actually not that fun on your own as most survival games are but it's still very fun to begin with, like base building and things like that, to get yourself established. There is ways, you know, you can get your base smashed, blown up, things like that, raided. So there's a lot of aspects like that. And one really, really, really good thing I enjoy about this game, which you guys may not understand why you need a base, is actually there's no combat logging because your character never leaves the server. So once you log out, your character actually falls asleep in the position you log out. And you may go, well, that's a bad, bad thing. You know, I'm constantly, you know, worried about my character losing all my gear. That's true, but it also brings in that aspect of, like, you have to build a base, you have to build a secure base, and fun things like that. Whereas, um, in, like, DayZ, you'd be like, oh, okay, I'm geared up, I'll just log out in this bush here, so when I log in, I'm safe. So there's that aspect as well, and it, it makes the game that much more tricky, but a lot more enjoyable. It does become frustrating to begin with learning all the game, but I will release a tutorial on it next week. But it's just so much fun. There's so many things to do. It's just a great all-round game. Surprise, motherfucker! There is a massive PvP element in this game, as in all survival games. So after you've hatched it in the guy's door, it does take around 100 hatchets, takes about 50 pickaxes. Swings at the door, loot his shit, destroy his stuff, and get the fuck out of there. And don't forget, always win your gunfights, because the recoil in this game is very hard to manage. Sorry, dude, my game's muted. Can you hear me now? Where is he? Oh, nice. Did he have anything on him? What do you have? Survival is a major aspect of this game, so there's a lot of animals to kill, such as wolves, bears, pigs, chickens, things like that, and after you've finished killing them, Hatching them up for meat and cloth and things like that to create armor and better help your survival. Stop plane. Keep an eye on it. Every hour, supply drop plane comes over and drops off some goodies such as C4, better weapons or medical kit. So it allows you to get ahead of the competition, you know. It can drop off metal walls, making your house a lot better and making it impermeable to C4. Or at least be able to take more C4s because they're probably the rarest thing in the game. But yeah, so this is what Rust is, survival horror game, 
So their take on pretty much Daisy and things like that, it's a really good take, and I feel this this is going to be one of the games definitely look out for the future. I reckon it's above all the other ones, such as Seven Days to Die and the DayZ standalone, because that's looking like shit at the moment. So if you're looking for a game that has, it's really fun with friends, because Gary Newman knows what he's on about. You know, he made Gary's mod, and now he's making this one. He's taking it in a, a really good direction. Constant support for it, always updates. There's always people, plenty of dedicated servers. So it's a great, fun game to play with all your friends. Make the biggest base you can. Just have fun that way. You know, there is a lot of grinding out wood and thing, grinding out wood, metal, turning it into metal fragments, creating pistols that can become tedious and feel annoying to you, but in the end, you know, it's worth it. With this, so, um... Oi. Yeah. Down here, where the first one was. Um... So if you guys are looking for a new Steam game to play, this is definitely a great multiplayer game to play with all your friends, or even by yourself. It's extremely enjoyable, you can dedicate so many hours to it and get out as much as you put in. Create weapons like M4 assault rifles and just go on massive raids of people's bases, or you can be friendly and go around and feed them, and give them clothing and things like that. It's entirely how you play, it's entirely how you want to make the game. You can um, dictate every gunfight. Every gunfight's fair, and it does take a lot of skills. So anyway, guys, definitely check out Rust, and look for more content from me. See ya. <laughs> oh, that was brutal.